let us take a moment to pause, to breathe in peace and breathe out love. Once again, breathe in peace and breathe out love. Many years ago, I heard a quote that continues to live with me. It was attributed to the late Dale Carnegie, and he said, Two men looked out from prison bars. One saw mud, the other saw stars. When I lived in San Francisco, I went to Alcatraz Prison, built on a small island in the middle of the San Francisco Bay. Here, almost literally in the center of some of the most beautiful landscape and city in the world, sits a massive federal prison, now a tourist attraction. The prison has been closed since 1963. What remains is a stark, soul-crushing monument of incarceration, freedom lost, and dreams ended. Yet Carnegie was not really talking about a federal prison, for he was a great teacher of personal empowerment and self-improvement. Rather, the bars he referred to are the ones that keep us locked in our beliefs, prejudice, and ignorance. These become far more restrictive, for they tether us to a smaller and smaller view of the world and ourselves. Sadly, without even knowing it, we slowly reinforce our prison walls when we fail to look beyond our self-imposed limitations. Perhaps we've been stopped before, been defeated in the quest for our dreams. We fail to appreciate the daily steps of the climb and want things quick and easy, and thus we fail fast and furious. And gradually we stop dreaming believing that we have been robbed of our freedom by the system, the man, or others. The real issue is we have stopped looking and savoring the moments of small steps that make up the journey, the climb, the freedom, the dream. For what we focus on draws us closer to it. Freedom doesn't come from leaving prison. If that were the case, we would not see the high numbers of people who return to prison after even a short walk with independence. In truth, they only see the mud and they cannot see the larger picture of their own story. Looking for the stars takes consistent effort. For some nights, they simply are hidden from our view with the clouds and the light pollution that fills the night sky. And like any great prison break, it takes planning, resources, and the ability to create, from what is at hand, the tools and things we need to achieve freedom. It's a determination to overcome and to succeed that pulls them toward their dream of escape. Why do we think it's any different to break free from our own entrenched comfort zones that hold us captive? The dig will be difficult. The disappointments great, the obstacles will cloud our vision. Perhaps the greatest prison we live in is the belief that overnight effort will gain our place in the stars, rather than the slow, daily moving of the buckets of mud that cloud our vision of what we are becoming on our journey of freedom.